this leads all up to the bet, right? The the bet, how we predict this game is going to go this year, how we are going to see this game going. Again, Nebraska versus Iowa, the bet. Chris, I've got my own take on this. Uh, I know we hadn't really discussed this before we rolled this out here. So how do you predict this game goes this year? Are you looking for a final score? No, 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 not yet. I mean, it's way too early to throw out final scores here, baby. We, we we're just trying to see about what we're going to have to do if the one person wins or loses. Yeah, we're going. We'll see, because obviously you're going to take Nebraska, and obviously I'm taking Iowa. So I mean, yeah. but I'm saying so right. we can lock it in. You think Nebraska wins this game? Absolutely. Okay. What kind of fan would I be if I didn't? Hey, man, I'm just saying right now, as a 48 hour Iowa fan here, one thing I can tell you is is this, and that is. Yeah. I know I was going to win this year. I don't think I know. Okay. Oh, oh. I mean, okay, Lee Corso, I got you, bro. Um, not so fast, right? <laughs> not a chance in hell, bro. It's Nebraska. It's Nebraska all day in this one, man. Nebraska has established uh, something last year with that win. We're going to turn the tide. You guys look at the recent history. It always seems teams now lately kind of been rattling off a couple wins and rivalries here. Nebraska's going to stack up a couple to get Iowa back for the last few years. It's going to happen, dude. I, I Like I said, it's going to be – I'm already predicting this right now. Let's bring this up on the future podcast. Nebraska will be favored by two and a half into this game. Nebraska wins by seven. Write it down. Put it in the bank. Put your bets in. I've got Iowa. And then, okay, so we're going to we're gonna do this. I got Iowa by, by 14. Two touchdowns. The fucking cock on you, but What are you talking about? By 14? <laughs> Hey, bro, Iowa, or think about this, Nebraska came into that game heavily, uh, like heavy underdogs last year, and they pulled off the upset. Arguably could have won by a larger margin than they should did. Have. Yes, I should have, right? So I, I think the revenge factor plays into it a little bit. I think uh, them boys in Iowa, they're going to get right, and they're going to have a, a come-to-Jesus meeting. I'm not saying it's going to be a low-scoring fair. I actually think this is going to be a shootout this year, and I do think that I, that defense is going to come to play. You want my mm -hmm. honest take on it? I think you're going to have two, you know, pretty solid offenses that are going to be uh, throwing down this year. Here's here's what I want to see with this, Chris, and, and this is really where I'm at. Let's start up in the bets here when we yep. look at doing this. I want to throw this out here. Loser has to get frosted tips. Woo! All right. Deal. Virtual handshake. Fuck it. I'm going to look better with them than you are. you always wearing a hat. We know you're bald. <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> listen, listen here, bro. Father time's undefeated, and it's only a matter of time for you over there. Oh, I got, I got, yeah, I got the receding hairline going on for sure. But you know, I am also the geriatric motherfucker that's ten years older than you. So, <laughs> you know. 